Good evening and thank you for joining us. Tonight in East Texas community is mourning the loss of a mother and son killed in a mobile home fire. It happened overnight in Panola County along a private road in the Holland Quarters community west of Carthage. Tonight we are learning more about the investigation and the lives lost. Life is just like a vapor. It's here for a moment and then it just vanishes away. Bishop Hubert Owens is talking about the two members of his congregation killed in this mobile home fire around 1.30 Tuesday morning. Owens and family members identify the victims as Latoya Brown Jeter and her teenage son, Kawan Jeter Jr., a student athlete at Carthage High School. The community is going to uh, have a great loss, and not only that, uh, CISD is going to have a great loss because we, we're losing a young man who would be a junior next year, and uh, I'm told that he would be the starting corner on the football team. He's also a guard in basketball and runs the quarter mile in track. Kawan's father and Latoya's husband, Kawan Jeter Sr., made it out of the house and was treated on scene. Family members say he tried to save his family, but the flames were too much. Fire Marshal Brian Murph was among the first on scene. Once we got there, the house was fully involved in fire. Uh, myself and a few others, we attempted to push the fire back and uh, <clears throat> we got it knocked down pretty quick. Uh, but after that, we discovered we did have two people uh, that were inside the residence. Murph is now investigating the cause of the fire with help from the state fire marshal's office and the Panola County Sheriff's Office, which says as of now, foul play is not suspected. We don't have any reason to believe that at this time, uh, but of course we're going to let the uh, autopsy uh, findings run its course in the investigation with the fire marshals of the state, local, and, and our CID division. We're dearly saddened today, but we do know that God make no mistakes, and we're trusting in Him that everything is going to be all right. Bishop Owen says the church plans to set up a GoFundMe account for Mr. Jeter. Officials also say the American Red Cross has been contacted and is providing aid.